Hello YouTube, I'm back after a while, but whatever. So this is part two of the Logic Pro 10 tutorial on how to make a drop. Yeah, today we're going to be adding some automations and some pitch bend and some reverb to make the sound a little bit better. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start off by adding some claps, because claps sound cool. Yeah. Okay. So we got a drum machine, same drum machine, and this clap here. This clap sounds nice. Well, first we want to add some reverb, so it's kind of echoey. So we go on the track, under compressor, you click here, go to reverb, and then silver verb, because I like silver verb. See how it's nice and echoey here? So first you start by recording one clap. Okay, whoops. What that didn't record. Let's try again. Okay. Zoom in and trim the track. This is not a bunch of wasted space here. Okay. Now we're gonna duplicate it to come at the same time as the whoops as the kick. Okay. Copy and paste it. Okay, let's see how that sounds. That sounds nice. Okay, so now we're going to start with automation and kind of pitch bend. So we're going to start off clicking here. We're going to bend the pitches of this synth here. Let's just listen to that. Okay, so you want to type in S, not S, no, A, you want to press A or click on this thing here to open up the automations menu. So first, we got some audio effects going to audio units, Apple. AU pitch and then stereo and then after that you can see that you can change the AU pitch and then we're going to click on pitch here yep. and then whoops and then you can click anywhere and it'll say the pitch is like a line So you click at the end of the track and you see there's a dot there. So if we drag that up, it'll bend the pitch up. So let's see how that let's listen to that. Yeah, so that sounds more like a drop because people usually have pitch bend. And that adds more to the tension of the drop. So we're going to add a little bit more um, automations, and we're going to try cutoff this time. So we're gonna, again, we're going to do a soft, new software instrument. And then let's pick a pad here, synthesizer, pad. Let's find one with cutoff. So you see you can change this with a knob and cut off. So with 
automations, we can do that automatically. Okay. So you start by recording whatever chord you want to play. Record some pads. boost the volume a bit and then again you want to press A or click on the automation thing there click on this here or press A and then this time we're gonna select smart controls and then cut off and then you can click in this space you see how the cutoff is at zero so we go to the end of the track and you click here again you can drag this up, so all the way up, so it increases over time. Let's listen to it now. Yeah. That sounds pretty awesome, I must say. So that's it for this tutorial of how to make a drop in Logic Pro 10. See you next time.